top five unusual fast food items from around the world. So I heard about this online, chocolate french fries, available here in Japan only. Well, let's go order some up and see what they taste like. A little taste test review for you guys. So here we go, the chocolate McDonald's french fries. So what they do is they give you plain french fries and then they give you sauce to put on top. Now I already knew this is gonna be the case um, because I saw some like some reviews online, but I just wanted to try it myself because I heard it's I heard it's pretty good overall. I don't I don't really want to come to Tokyo or you know come to Japan to, to eat at McDonald's necessarily, but when they have a unique item like this, I want to give it a try. So I think oh I have figured it out. So you snap you snap the container like so, and then you drizzle the sauce all on top, just like so. Look at that. <laughs> That's actually kind of cool, I like that. That's cool. Oh yeah. Get all that chocolate sauce on there. Mmm. Chocolatey goodness. Look at that. That actually looks pretty damn good. Can you imagine the, the sweet and the salty chocolate fries? All right, so let's give this a little bit of a taste test just to see what it really is like. It's really good. That's really good. I did not. I expect this to taste as good as it does. That's fantastic. That should be a signature item on every McDonald's menu. Like, that, that should taste so damn good. It's like... It's like they took Nutella, put it into these containers, and then yeah, drizzle them all over french fries. These fries aren't as salty as they are back home which is a good thing. But if they were more salty, I think it would actually make it even better. It's that chocolate saltiness and everything like that. But that's pretty damn good. That is damn good. The only problem is, is well, after you eat the chocolate sauce on top, you're kind of left with none at the bottom, but that's just a minor, minor, minor thing, minor glitch. Overall, really good. Like, unexpectedly really good. I am in Manila in the Philippines. We got spring rolls on tap today. And to be honest, they they don't look that terrible. Um, they look kind of normal for spring rolls, maybe a little bit too crispy. Um, but in general, can't really, really complain about what they look like. I guess it's all about the taste. We'll try. Try without the sauce. We'll try one of these without the sauce. I don't really know what they're stuffed with either. I'm not sure. I don't know what that stuff was. We're gonna try it with a little bit of sauce, which is very, very watery, very, very liquidy. Viscous, and we're gonna check. We're gonna try it with that. I think it's good with the sauce too, I guess. It doesn't, it, it tastes like a normal spring roll, to be honest. There really isn't that much, that much of a difference. There's a nice crunch, obviously, because they're deep fried. Obviously, fast food places should know how to deep fry foods. Um, the filling inside, I'm not really quite certain what it is. I think it's a meat of some sort. I think it's meat and vegetables, so it's not like, a, most spring rolls are actually filled with like vegetables from what I know. Uh, sometimes, you know, with some shrimp and things like that. This one is, what I'm guessing is meat. Uh, possibly the same thing that they use in their chilies, uh, and they put that inside. Um, but overall, it tastes like a normal spring roll, nothing out of the ordinary, nothing unusual here. And then there is the rice here. I'm not, that was really dry. That's very dry rice. 
just very, very plain steam, but it's very, very dry. In general, I think the spring rolls actually aren't that terrible. I would like to know what's inside though. And so, found this. This is the picture that's advertised. And then, as you guys know, I hate mayo, so I asked for no sauce. And no sauce pretty much indicates don't put anything else on the burger because look at it. This is what came out. This is what it looks like. This, nothing on the inside. They didn't put any lettuce or bacon or anything like that. This is just how it comes. I guess it is what it is. Now let's take a look at the picture once again of what it's supposed to look like. And then this is what we get. It's extremely, extremely greasy. I can tell it's extremely greasy. I don't even want to take a bite out of it to be honest. It looks way different than advertised and I don't really want to take a bite out of it. But I'm going to do it anyways because I did a video so I'm going to do one one bite and see what it tastes like. Alright guys, here we go. kind of tasty to be honest I don't know what it's made out of I think it's like pepper bread or something because it tastes very peppery but I have no idea no clue what it's made out of I don't I don't I'm not really sure what's inside here I'm gonna do one more bite just because not that good it's not terrible. I wouldn't order again. You can't put my finger on the flavor. It's got some weird spices inside there. Definitely can taste the pepper. I'm not sure if it's just chicken. Probably parts of chicken. I don't know what else to say about this. I don't know why I kind of like the flavor. I'm kind of like craving another bite. It kind of tastes like, you know what these patties taste like? It kind of tastes like breakfast sausage. Breakfast patties that you would get um, like at, uh, what do you call it? Like yeah, breakfast sausages, breakfast patties. That's what it tastes like in between this. So maybe this is like a breakfast burger or something like that. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try the bread on its own. Okay, the bread definitely isn't peppery. It all came from the from the patties. The bread is just soft. There's some kind of herbs inside, but not really. Can't really put my finger on it. I don't even know what this burger is called because it came all in Chinese. There's no English English translation for it. So it's like weird button chicken burger thingy. I don't want any more. I don't really want to eat it anymore. <laughs> I am done. Um, I don't actually, truth be told, the flavor actually isn't terrible. But they should have put my bacon and my lettuce on top. But I kind of like the bread, like I said. Weird Burger in Shanghai, China. So my friends, this is their Salisbury steak. You can get one piece or two piece. I only got one piece because I don't know what it's gonna taste like. It comes with some steamed rice, which comes in this ball here. Just like so. Cube of some sorts. But I am very curious as to what this going to taste like so I just cut a piece and I'll be honest I don't really want to eat this I'm guessing it's probably closer to a burger patty of some sort but the gravy just doesn't look doesn't look that appetizing to be honest like take a look at this, this does this gravy look that appetizing to you guys to me it doesn't look that appetizing it looks really thick and just like I don't know to me it doesn't just 
look that appetizing. But that's just me personally, so I'm gonna give it a try. With that in and out music here that just comes in and out. It does look like a burger patty. That's what it is. It's a burger patty. They put a burger patty down, they put a burger patty down, and then just smother it with gravy and mushroom. You give me some rice on the side. Which is good. Very, very plain, very dry. But good. Good rice. But that's all it is, is a burger patty covered in uh, in this gravy-like substance that Gravy-like substance, that's pretty much I like how, how I can describe it. Yeah, so. Hamburger, patty, gravy-like substance. The gravy is actually very sweet. Very sweet. Just, this just doesn't appeal to me. That's just me personally. If you like the Salisbury Steak at Wendy's, then let me know in the description below. All right, I actually just got told to not record inside there. So, uh, I am done recording inside there. We'll eat last. Mick Spaghetti. That's right. They serve spaghetti. Mick Spaghetti, McDonald's, Mick Spaghetti. Let's open it up. Bam! McDonald's, Mick Spaghetti. Staple on the McDonald's menu that is nowhere else. So this is spaghetti. This is... There's a sauce, there's something I think that is a cheese. I'm not really sure. And I am going to do a little bit of a taste test. Gonna mix up the sauce a little bit. Mix, and just gonna try this. See what it's like. You guys ready? This is mixed spaghetti. Mixed spaghetti from McDonald's. That is some sweet sauce. You know what this tastes like? This almost tastes like spaghetti with ketchup. I'm gonna have another spoonful here. That is sweet. Spaghetti sauce usually has like a, a very, well, tomato-y taste. This obviously has tomato, but I think there's a lot of sugar added to the sauce itself. Definitely tastes not not it's 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 edible. Uh, it's not like it's disgusting. I'm not really sure if this is cheese that they put on top. I, I think it's a form of cheese of some sort. Um, and then there's this. I think that's like a pepperoni or something. I only got one of them. I wonder if this was accidentally put into my mixed spaghetti because I don't think it normally is supposed to be in there. Um, in general, it's not that bad. It's not that great either. Gonna have one last taste of this mixed spaghetti. exactly what this tastes like now. I know exactly what this tastes like. You know when you have, uh, as a kid, you had SpaghettiOs and things like that? So in those cans, you had pasta and that, that, that sweet sauce. That's exactly what kind of sauce it is. Exactly. So remember SpaghettiOs? This is like eating SpaghettiOs. Exactly like that. All right, just a quick little review here from Manila in the Philippines on mixed spaghetti at McDonald's. All right. Catch you guys later. Thanks for your daily support. Please give it a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it. Check out all my links in the description below. Follow me on all my social media. As always, my friends, you guys stay sexy, stay hungry, and of course, get lazy.